Hey, many fish. It is July 2nd, 2017, and I saw a bunch of articles referring to Trump's reinstating this National Space Council, which was an entity through the most deceptive days of space. You know, Reagan was involved with a bunch, and then back in the 60s, of course. And so this pretty much solidifies 100% with me that both our president and especially our vice president, who will head this council, are complicit with the deception of NASA, which is just an unimaginably complex and diabolical deceptive organization. Pure Satan. But nonetheless, right beneath this... Uh, presidential executive order article is the image of the day the face of jupiter and of course i mean i have to look at that because jupiter is one of their most powerful entities that they worship as a god uh, in their world there is no actual planet jupiter I'm just telling you folks, what you're seeing through your telescopes is not what you think you're seeing. And I'll just leave it at that. But this is very important. Because I believe they're showing their hand right here. Now, they claim in here the Juno cam images aren't just for art and science. Sometimes they're processed to bring a chuckle. This image, processed by citizen scientist Jason Major, is titled... Jovi McJupiter face. Now that's designed to just, you know, keep you thinking that, yeah, yeah, that's what people like many fish see as a face. I, that looks nothing like any face that I would ever show you guys because it's ridiculous. But regardless, by rotating the image 180 degrees, flipping it upside down, and orientating it south up, the oval storms turn into eyeballs, and the face of Jupiter is revealed. Well, once again, give me a break. You know, they then they throw in all their little numbers, you know, they have to throw in all this numerology stuff. Well, let me tell you what's going on here. Plain and simple. Mr. Jupiter E. McJuperface is not anything of what they're telling you, but they are showing you what hand they're soon going to play because i do my thing and i flip this thing and what you're seeing here you can already make him out is this image right here as well as right in here if you look right here we have ourselves a little alien man which is not a space alien trust me these are things you never want to meet but i think they're planning on you meeting them whether you want to or not and so all i did was accentuate some of the lines that you see here and what you're looking at is a demonic entity or satan himself coming through the veil through this vortex this tear and handing out offering a gift to those who worship him here on earth that is definitely an entity reaching out through the veil and handing out this alien little pod here there's his fingers there his hand his face back there obviously all i did this is all i did was accentuate these lines a little bit and there are other figures, of course, as usual, all strewn without the image here. Aliens everywhere. This is what they're doing. They're about to unleash the great deception, an alien deception. And that's what I'm getting. That's all I can say. That's the message, and I'm sticking to it. Praise God, all glory to God. You never hear any of these men, none of them, preaching the gospel or standing firm on their principles, supposedly biblical principles. They're all liars. They're all deceivers. But they're also being deceived by the greatest deceiver of all.
and it's coming, it's being revealed. Peace and grace to you, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 